So once you get your um, rails, you put them in and then you measure the distance of the opening in between the rails. Sometimes the rails say what they what exactly you need. These ones say to take about an inch off. So now that I know how big my rails are in my drawer, I cut my pieces for my drawer and I'll show you how I do that. So I've cut and sanded my drawer. This is the general idea. This will be the back. So I got this. Now I measure out and cut a base for it and then I'll do post on all four sides. So I cut it. This is my base here. And now I'm gonna cut um, pieces out of this to go in all four corners to hold it all together. Here's the finished look here. As you check it out, everything's liquid nailed. I'll still clean it up, but that's how I do it. And I'll show you how I put the rails on. This is the finished project. It's just a little drawer next to our sink. We'll put the front on later. But, you know, it's not always perfect in van life. So, see how I put the rail on up on the front. And you can see my monstrosity shim job. And it looks kind of shitty, but when you put the drawer in place, you don't even notice it. And then it'll have a nice front. So that's how you make a ghetto drawer. This is the finished project of that drawer that I was showing you guys how to make. So I put these um, buttons here on them. They're a pain in the ass. So just be aware if you get these, have fun with them. Um, so how I put the door, the drawer front on is I just <clears throat> basically have these countersunk holes here and then I did a pocket hole down here. And then I just, you can see I went really heavy with the uh, liquid nail, but it's all good. It works out. So there's the finished project. Like I said, you saw the shim job was kind of fucked, but you can't tell when it's shut. So there's that. A few other ones. So this is that pull out. I added a little, I don't know, it's kind of stupid. I might take it off. I added that and then that's that. I just figured I'd show you guys a better shot of that. And then here's another drawer I made. Um, so what I did on this one is I just used these um, little one and a half by half. I don't know what you call them. They're like furniture grade. So I just, you can see I just pocket drilled here, made a little box. And then I attached the fronts on here. And then once again, liquid nail. And then you can just see, I basically got this fully extending rail. And I install it inside first, pull it out, install it on. This was actually the easiest drawer we made. I just wanted something slim and small. And here's another drawer. This one locks down like this. It's not the best solution, but whatever. And then you pull this bad boy open. This is basically our kitchen everything. And so this was built the same way I built the other, the one I had shown. So just plywood sides. I went with bigger one by ones to tie it all together. And then I even have this along the front because after a few weeks or it, really started to come off you can see here i also blew it and didn't put the liquid nail on there here's the other drawer 
and then the toilet's on a drawer and I believe that's it yeah that's it so that's how we built our drawers um, they're a tedious process but they're I mean if you see how much storage you get out of one they're totally worth doing it